Hey everyone, this is Artie, the Vintage Stitcher. Today is Friday, July 16th. We are halfway through with Christmas in July. Um, what a month. It's going by really fast. Um, if you noticed, I cut all my hair off. Um, <laughs> I have been um, growing out my hair for a year and a half. Well, a little less than that, but right around a year and a half. The last time I colored my hair was January of 2020. Um, I had colored my hair to go to Florida. We we're going to Florida. And then by the time we came back and COVID had hit, and by the time it was time to color my hair again or get my roots touched up, we were shut down We and we were on lockdown. So I couldn't get to the hairdresser. I couldn't get to the hairdresser. And the longer I went, the longer it got. And... Get, I you know fast forward in a few months into June and I had quite a bit of growth and I was like I'm done coloring my hair you know um I always knew at some point I would stop coloring my hair I just wasn't ready and that was kind of, COVID was kind of the breaking point I was just like I just need one less thing to do um one less thing to schedule one less appointment to go to so um I stopped coloring my hair and I've been letting it grow out and I have a wonderful hairdresser who's been very, very patient with me. She's been doing lots of scalp treatments and trims and doing nice cute cuts and, and stuff like that. Sorry, I have a bad habit of playing with it. Um, she's been doing a wonderful job. Well, this week with um, me working back at the clinic, it's been living in a ponytail and I've got that chronic headache going on. And I was like, I've had it, it's still two-toned, I'm over it. So I went to my hairdresser today and I said, I want the two-tone gone. I want all the color chopped off. I'm done. And she's like, it's going to be really drastic. And I said, I'm okay with that. I'm really, really okay. So it's not as cute as it could be. I got I to gotta play with it a little bit more and style it and get it kind of the way I, I like to do it and comfortable. And, you know, they put all sorts of goop in it and stuff. But I'm very happy with it. Um, I'm very happy to just kind of be over the grow up period. And now I can just kind of let my hair do my own its own thing. Um, I have not had my hair this short since my oldest baby was, my oldest baby, my oldest son was a baby. Um, and he's going to be 28 this year. So it's been a long, long time since I've had hair this short. It's always been shoulder length or longer. So... Um, my husband will be home in about an hour. It, it might be an interesting conversation. So, anyway, got my hair done, got my eyebrows waxed. That That's a treat, too. Um, so a little self-care today. It was all good. I've got pretty much zero stitching done. So I'm going to show a couple of things, a couple of, like, work-ahead projects, a couple of things I'm, I'm working on. I did get some time in last night on my Christmas, called the Christmas Visitor. Christmas Visitor. It's the Christmas Pelican that looks like a swan. Yes, and I'm in total agreement that it looks like a swan. That's what I thought it was. Um, but I did get some time in on that. Let me do... Let me find something here so you can see it a little bit better. So I did get my uh, pelican done. I'm working on his beak. And then it's just like some little fluffy stitches around it. A little bit of greenery and flowers and, and stuff like that. So I'm hoping to get some time in this weekend on that. Um, I'm really hoping to get some stitching done. So, um... And Christmas in July, I'm only working on Christmas stuff. I did not put any stitches in on my Quaker Christmas. Um, I have not put any stitches in on my Ho Ho Ho. And then tonight, when my husband gets home, we are moving my stepdaughter down to Milwaukee. So we are in the Upper Peninsula, right on the Upper Peninsula, Wisconsin border. And she is going to be going to Milwaukee for um, her internship this fall. And so today is the big moving day. We've got to get her all moved down there and get her settled in and that sort of thing and get her things down there so that when she's ready to go, it's all there. Um, I, I think we still have a couple years of moving this one around. <laughs> she's, but, you know, it doesn't fit in the back of a pickup truck anymore. She's accumulated more and more things over her course of going to school and, you know, kind of living on her own and that sort of thing. So, um... 
now we have a trailer. But anyway, so that's what we are going to be doing. And I am going to be eight hours in the car tonight or the truck. You know, it's a four hour trip down there and about three and a half, four hours home. So I am bringing along, I'm going to start a prairie schooler sample, Santa for in the car. I'm going to bring this one with. And this is the 2020. This is from last year. And I'm going to start working on that. And that's going to be kind of a little side project. That's one that I can, I can, um, work on in the car, kind of work on when my eyes are tired or whatever. So um, that is what I'm going to be working on tonight in the truck on our travels. So I don't know if anybody's caught the hint, but I am starting to get the Halloween stitch itch. So before I ordered anything on 123 or any other site or started scouring, you know, the, the Facebook groups for all sorts of fun, Halloween stuff. I wanted to see what I had in my stash. So I pulled out a few things from my stash that I think I'm going to attempt to get done this year. And I thought, oh, I'll show everybody what I've got going. So here is what I'm going to be doing. I, this one is cute. This is by Primrose Cottage Stitches. This is Boo Bash. And this is um, from 2020. This came out last year. So how cute is that? And I thought, what an adorable little small. And this, um, it's only going to be like a four by four if you do a 28 or a 14 count. So it's really, it's like stitch size 57 by 57. So that's going to work up pretty quick. And I thought that was cute. All my Halloween ones are smalls. Um, I'm not a huge decorator for Halloween. I'm more fall. So I don't like big, big Halloween. This one is from Artful Offerings. And this is Haunted Manor House. This one's a little bit bigger. It's 127 stitches by 144. It's 127 by 144. Um, but the monochromatic. I, I Sometimes I just love to sit down and just stitch with one color. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do. So you just kind of go through. It's all one color. You don't have to think about it. Um, there's no changing, you know. So this one is super cute. Uh, this I've shown in the past. This is my um, Tis Halloween. It's the Blackbird design. It's got 13 little stockings in it. So there, there shows you one and then some cute, uh, cute other little stockings. I'll show you this one and then this one. And I thought that might be fun to kind of kit up. Like, let me see if I can pull up a page. Look at how cute that is. Yeah, how adorable and make little um, candy stockings or something for the grandbabies or decoration I don't know we'll see so I thought that one was fun this one is um, primitive needle moon witch and I'm gonna fold it because look at how cute that witch is I love a funky witch once in a while so I'm looking forward to doing that that's a that's also a small. That is um 46 by 81. Not very big. So that'll be a perfect small. Another one by Artful Offerings is Hoot Owl Halloween. Now this one, I love the pattern. I'm not fond of the colors. I'm not a purple person. Um, I might change out some of the colors. I know for sure I won't do it on a green, or if I do do it on green, it's going to be um, a little bit more of a primitive, primitive green, primitive color. So I probably change out the colors on this one, but um, that owl is so darn cute. So, and then I have Plum Street Samplers, my pretties. Look how cute those are. So I thought those would be fun. Sorry about the glare. I thought those might be fun to stitch. So, those are some of my Halloween patterns that I am going to start pulling fabric and kitting up and getting ready. Now, so I'm going to have two questions of the day because we've got to have our Christmas question of the day. But when do you start your Halloween stitching? Do you start in August, September? Do you wait until October? Are you stitching in the moment? Or are you like stitching ahead of time to... Get it started so you can get it finished for Halloween and have it out for decor. Um, I'm going to start stitching pretty soon. 
just because I am, like I said, I'm getting the Halloween stitch itch. So, but I'm not ready for summer to be over. All right, so that is about all I have for you for today. So let's do our happy mail winner from Wednesday's video, which would be Grandma Rose's Homestead. So Grandma Rose, please message me below and send me your shipping ad or your mailing address so I can get that happy mail off to you. So she was a fan of the Collins Street Bakery fruitcake. And my last video, I, I know the fruitcake story came up and um, the Collins, I could not remember the, the name of the bakery. I thought it was Baker's Bakery or something like that, but it's Collins Street Bakery out of Texas. That's where my husband's uncle gets the, the fruitcakes from and that sends to us and they're amazing. So Grandma Rose was also a fan of Collins Street Bakery. So um, message me your address and I will get some happy Christmas, happy mail out to you. All right, now this is a very serious question um, and it's very debatable in our house and we've had many, many compromises over the years. Um, our household, when all the kids were home, our household was very split in half with this, this question and <sighs> caused a lot of controversy. Christmas lights, multicolored or white. We were a very split household. For a long time, we had three girls and three boys or three females and three males in our house. And of course the three males, they want multicolored, they want all the sparkle and the, the, and the three girls wanted a little bit more elegant, soft, wonderful feel. So they wanted the white lights. So three and three. Now it's down to my husband and I. <laughs> so for many years with the kids, I did white lights on the tree and I did multicolored lights outside. We would put the colored lights outside. And the only reason I had to do that was because my all the boys were helping me or all the males were helping me put lights up on the house and the trees and stuff. And I really needed their help because I could not do it myself. So we had to compromise with colored lights outside and the white lights on the inside. So let me know where your family lands on white lights or multicolored lights. My husband has given up. So now I get to decorate in whatever color lights I want. <laughs> and I love it. So with that said, I'm off to Milwaukee for the evening. Um, I will hopefully see you tomorrow with some stitching in hand. Um, spread love, be kind, find peace, and Merry Christmas.